Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have 5th Rated Duelist versus Karibo Overlord, and this is going to be a $20 money match, the winner is going to win $20, and the loser is going to lose $20, also you can go ahead and check out 5th Rated Duelist's YouTube channel, link down below at the very top description, and you can check out Karibo Overlord's um, Metafile, link down below right underneath that, and then let's go ahead and hop in. We're going to see Kribo Overlord win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, and decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we got Imperm, Evenly, Theosis, Evenly, and Pressured Planet. And then they have Lubellion, Ash, Crossout, Cartesia, and Sornier. Okay, so... Now, oh, the hand's a little bit awkward, but it works. Uh, summon, Effect, and then they're going to chain Imperm on that, and then... This is, like, the third time this week where we've seen people main deck cross out and just not have imperm for the cross out which is still so crazy to me like this card is just as popular as ashes and both of them hurt a lot especially if you play like this build with like the bestials and stuff you don't play like uh like the old-fashioned type branded build and then draw ash okay so go battle phase end the battle phase evenly to hit the cross out uh, could have chained the cross out if they wanted to. And then activate pressured planet, pressured planet, go grab unicorn. And then they could go Cartesia effect here, so that way they don't get ripped by unicorn. Guess doesn't really matter, right? Because, like, you're gonna have to ash the Theosis anyways, or the unicorn. Summon Grangoil. Grangoil 1, Sornier 2, like they had combo turn 1, you know, because they could have dumped Retribution, dumped Braided Fusion, but now they're going to dump Retribution and Albion. Then after that, Special Summon out Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, go grab Birth, they let that go through. And then Activate Theosis, Chain Ash Blossom, Unicorn Effect, uh, go ahead and look in their extra deck, and then they're going to hit the Rinbrum, alright. Uh, activate birth, set evenly, and phase Albion. So then Albion's gonna grab Branded Fusion, and then Blazing Cartesia add itself back. Um, and you might be wondering why they activate this, but it's actually a really good interruption versus Branded. And then they draw Adlib, so we're gonna go main phase. Uh, activate Branded Fusion, chain the Ash Blossom. Then Resolution, they're going to go Birth Effect, Target Albion, Sornier, Brain of Retribution. Okay, then they're going to Chain, Add Back, Brain of Fusion. You may as well, like, hitting the Ash Blossom doesn't do anything. Otherwise, I would say, like, don't target either of those cards, because obviously it can just add back. But, it's okay. Also, it could stop them from getting back, like, a Branded and Red if that somehow comes up. And then Summon Blazing Cartesia. Blazing Cartesia effect to fuse two into Dragos to Palia. Alright. Um, then add lib effect, summon back out. Bring out the Grangoil. Yep. That is fine. Then attempt to end main phase. Okay. And also, they don't have a target for Lubellion because they only play one Sornier, so they don't have anything to do with this card. I was thinking if there was a way to, like, fuse with it into something nice, but there wasn't really anything that good to make that have a good impact on the game. I mean, there was, like, something that have, like, a little bit of an impact on the game, but it's, like, the same thing as this is now. I was going to say make Dragos to Palea on their turn instead of your turn. Battle phase, attack... And then, they're thinking, admitted defeat. Okay. Yeah, it's because, like, this is 28. Even if you just pass, though, um, you have to Dragos to Palea Unicorn this turn. They can go Battle Phase, run over Dragos to Palea. The Unicorn effect, grab Theosis, Theosis, summon Fenrir, Fenrir, search, and then normal summon out whatever. Then they can just continue playing. And they're in a pretty tricky spot with what they have. So they're going to go ahead and met the feet. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Feels bad, man. But on to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see Karibo Overlord go first. We got 
Book of Eclipse, Pressure Planet, Birth, Shifter, Rise Heart. They have Branded Fusion, Branded Opening, Alibur, Ash, and Tragedy. So they're going to go Main Phase, Normal Summon Alibur, Effect, go Search, and then go ahead, grab Branded in Red, then activate Branded Fusion, Chain Shifter. Yeah, I mean, you definitely wouldn't grab, like, Branded Loss there. A lot of people would grab Branded Loss there, but there's really no point of doing it because if you get hit with Ash on this, that's the hardest part about the whole deck. And you can like semi play through Ash because you have opening tragedy discard and then you have Brandon and Red. But if you go for Lost, then like you just know you're losing to Ash, like hard losing to it. Opening discard tragedy, bring out Adlib, and then banish Fallen of Albaz, banish Mercarrier, bring out the Rinbrum. Okay, and then tragedy Mercarrier, search, search, grab the Shrouded Dragon, and then grab Aluber. And then add the effect, make these gang attack until the end of this player's turn. And then separate it in red, pass, draw Pot of Prosperity, activate Pot of Prosperity, go banish. So they're going to banish six, chain Ash Blossom onto that. And then activate Pressured Planet, Pressured Planet, go search, grab a Unicorn. And then activate Book of Eclipse to set the field, sure. Uh, special Summon out Unicorn. And then Unicorn Effect goes Surge, grab the Osa. I was trying to think when we would want to brand it and red our opponent. Um, because obviously we had like Dragus Paleo line set up there if we wanted it. So I think we're just going to go into a Chimera. Summon Rise Heart. And then activate Branded and Red, target Tragedy. And then just Banish, go into Guardian Chimera. And then new chain links, Camara 1, Tragedy 2, Adlib 3, summon back out, Ren Brum, go search Alibur, draw Branded Lost, and then pop the Cash Tiras there, and then activate the Cash Tira Birth. Then they're going to go Birth Effect, summon back out, bring out Unicorn, and then activate the Osis, the Osis, target Unicorn, special out from deck, bring out Fenrir, and then they're going to go with the Osis, add back Cash Tira Rise Heart. Uh, I'm trying to think what they do here. Then Fenrir, effect goes search, grab Fenrir. Normal summon it. Battle phase, attack Chimera, effect banish Chimera face down, then attack over the Rinbrum. Unicorn attack, and then we're going to rip their extra deck, of course. Hit the, uh, the Grand Goyle. And then main phase two, overlay all those into an Arise Heart. Um, okay, I don't think that is actually correct here, because if you summon a Rise Heart, then... I, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Um, it might actually just, like, not matter, right? Because our opponent has, like, so much banished already. Um, yeah, I, I actually think this is okay. So I was going to say, I don't think this is correct, because you want them to be sending their cards to Graveyard, so that way you can birth banish them face down. Because banishing face down is completely different than banishing face up, because one works with the belly on, one doesn't. Um, the only problem here is that there is a card called Dragoon, and Dragoon will be able to put in some work. They draw cross out. Actually, it wouldn't even be able to put in that much work, but they did top deck lost. And then draw cross out. And then normal summon Alibur. Alibur effect goes search. They grab the Braided Fusion. After that, activate lost. Okay. Is that okay though? And then activate Branded Fusion. They said, sure. I feel like you have to outlaw because you have to put Goliath underneath a Rise Heart. Otherwise, Dragoon just ends the game. Dump Fallen of Albaz. Dump Dark Magician. Bring out Lubelion. Then they're going to go Lubelion 1, Lost 2, Discards Cross Out. It's not the correct discard. You're supposed to discard either or of these. Uh, pro probably just Alibur there, to be honest, to keep Shredder Dragon. Because uh, you're going to need that. And then they're going to search Mercarrier, uh, put back Fallen of Albaz, put back Dark Magician, bring out Dragoon, and then effect to pop. You know, they can't activate the effect to attach there because lost. 
And then Dragoon the pop. Chain the banished lost face down, but it's already too late. Yeah, let's pop that. Burn. And then see right here. Um, they messed up because if they just kept the cross out, they could have activated it. And then chain Dragoon to negate it. And then, boop, go for game. Especially because they know the card in their hand. But now we're just hoping that Shrouded Dragon somehow gets us there. Dump Retribution. Put back. Draw Gold Sark. Okay, it did. So we can activate that. Then Dragoon negate it. Just end the game. And they missed it, because Abelion cannot attack here. So we're going to drop our opponent down to 200. I mean, it's still pretty good. Like, we have Mercarrier with this, and then we have Dragoon. But, you know, this is opening up a world where, you know, you could you could lose. The normal Summon Rise Heart. Rise Heart effect, go Banish Theosis, make a Banish 3 face down. Hits a lure, cross out, blazing Cartesia, and then activate the Osis effect. The Osis to add back Fenrir now. Uh, but yeah, they already normal summon the Rise Heart. And then birth effect, change your goon to negate and destroy that. And then they admit defeat. So let's go. That was an insane game to be honest. It was. I feel like Shifty didn't do anything. Um No, it did. It it did a lot. It definitely did a lot. If you didn't shift her ended on foreign eruptions, pop it. Yeah, it, it definitely did a lot. They just happened to have, like, the opening discard there to be able to set up the branded in red. Uh, but on to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and see Kashira go first. We got Ash, Unicorn, Big Bang, Fenrir, Prosperity. They have Alibur, Gold Sark, Adlib, Dark Magician, Branded Lost. Okay, so... Ash plus Engine is already, like, too much for this deck. To be honest, I think Branded was just, like, a really good choice for a 3v3 event. Because, like, the like the theory behind it was, like, we all can't get Ashed, right? But when you're in a singles event, and I, I, I don't like it. Especially because, like, you know, you go to, like, a top 32 or something with Branded, and then you're pretty much putting your whole, like, game threes, like, almost every single game three, you're just like, all right, they won't draw Ash. They won't draw Ash. Or if they go first, they won't draw Ash or D-Barrier. They don't draw those. I don't know, you can only have that mindset for so long, especially when you're going up against a deck that plays Prosperity that can do it for six every time they draw it. And then that's going to go ahead. They hit Theosis there. They grab Theosis. I feel like you would have tried to commit your Unicorn and see what Unicorn does, right? Because, like, if your Unicorn goes through, then you don't really need Theosis. You could just grab Judgment and then just have Judgment Ash plus Combo. Summon, effect, grab birth, and then activate birth, normal summon out Fenrir, Fenrir, effect goes search, grab Rise Heart, and then overlay, make Shangri La, then activate Rise Heart to summon, Rise Heart effect, banish from deck, banish Scareclaw Cash Tier, make a banish three face down, and then Shangri La effect, lock a zone, Deosis, bring out Ogre, said oops. Oh, well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they were going for here. Ogre effect, go search for preparations. Cause this is, this is like almost lock five combo, but we would need to be able to banish the Osis from our graveyard. So that way we can add back Scareclaw and then Scareclaw banish Big Bang. And then summon, effect, attach, rip the Rinbrum. And then effects. So we're going to lock zone, make him banish face down, effect, lock zone. Then birth effect, bring out Scareclaw. I mean, this is still like, okay. We should have... If we were doing it just like this, we should have birth brought back Scare Claw and then gone for Mind Hacker effect. Because realistically, banishing like the extra cards, like the four from their main deck, one from the extra, it doesn't really matter. Um, like if you get hit with Nib, sure. But if you don't get hit with Nib, then your Rise Heart has three materials, and I feel like that's more important than getting the banish from their extra deck and five from their main deck. Then set prep, set Big Bang. Um, and honestly, you don't have to go for, like, big combo if you have Ash. 
Because that's how good of a card it is against that deck. Uh, they draw Retribution. Then Standby Phase, Shangri La, bring out Fenrir. Activate Preparations. Okay. Um, uh, this is pretty much just like, okay, like if you're going to mess up and activate Imperm after this, then you mess up and you activate Imperm after this. I messed up my combo. Yeah, I was getting flashbacks. I don't do it. I don't normally do it because I'm too lazy. It's so much work. I love the lock 5 combo. Normal summon Alibur. Alibur effect. And then Alibur. Grab Branded Fusion. Uh, resolution. Fenrir. Just banish it face down. And then effects. And then we're just going to lock the last two spell and trap zones. Yep. And then that is going to be game. Yep. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why we're playing this out, right? There's no point. That's so weird. I press it nine times. DB does that. Yeah, you just have to do the command slash banish face down nine. But, I mean, yeah, either way, it's GG's. I was going to say, like, are you going to do a whole lot with that Dark Magician and that ad lib here? Even if it wasn't the lock zones, I mean, their hand was pretty bad and Ash would have done a lot. So DM me your uh, DB or DM me on Facebook your PayPal. Then they go ahead and show like the kaiju and the nib. Um, yeah, I could have drawn those. I don't know. I, I really don't think Brandon's the wave. I really don't. I think it was cool before. I still I think I think it's a really fun deck though. I enjoy playing it, but at the same time, I would never I would, I would not play it in a tournament. Sorry to re-traumatize you. If you ever want to play again, let me know. Yeah, for sure. Okay, it feels like we're just reading a personal conversation now. Okay, okay, GG's, GG's. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like I'm just reading a conversation now. I also want to go to Europe. Same. But, okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see that the match was about... 46 minutes long and we do see cash tira end up winning there over branded after losing the rock paper scissors shoot um it could have been an entirely different game if kribo overlord decided to uh play imperm in their deck to be able to hit with cross out instead of just ash blossom you know the, the game would have been a little bit different there and um yeah i mean if you think about it like Ash and Imperm aren't that different, like, in power levels right now either. Unless if you, like, specifically play versus Branded. I feel like Ash and Imperm are almost doing the same thing every time. Except you're not getting your extra deck ripped with an Imperm. Um, I think Ash is okay. I don't think it's bad. I think, like, Ash, Valor, Imperm are all pretty... They all feel fairly similar um i don't know though maybe i'm just wrong maybe i'm dumb imperm is also a good six guard uh, and also they play a lure darkness so they can draw into it i mean you still need an ash for the cross out but i feel like imperm for the cross out like the game one was literally just over evenly doesn't do anything you just set up expulsion and give them a monster and they can't hit you with evenly, so both the evenlies would have been dead. Uh, yeah, it would have just been game by far. But, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.